Hello, my name is Chris Kutzmarski, and I've been a journeyman tool and die maker since 2008. And I work at a company called Toolander Engineering, a business my grandfather started a long time ago. Today, I'm gonna to show you what a progressive die is. Now this is aimed at a beginner that doesn't know anything about it. So I'm gonna go very slow and just show the very basics of what a progressive die is. Let's go. Now every progressive die has a lower half, this side, and an upper half, which is this side. These get connected through these ball bearings into this hole. They get mounted in something called a punch press. The bottom gets permanently mounted to the bottom. The top gets mounted to the punch press, which actually moves up and down, providing the power for the die to cut through the material. Now this is a strip. They usually start off in coil form and it's called a progressive die because you can see the progressions here to here to here. So every single station performs a different operation. You couldn't do it all in one. It would just, it, there's too many stations. It's, it's impossible. So every station does a unique operation. It can do cutting. It can do forming. Forming is just essentially bending the part. You can do trimming. You can do coining. Coining is essentially squeezing the material down to a thinner uh, dimension. You can do in die tapping. You can do extruding. You can do all sorts of things. So every single station performs a different operation and it goes down the line and keeps adding and adding and adding and doing different things. And by the end, you get a finished part. Now let's take a look at the strip. You can see that every progression performs a different operation. You're cutting the pilot holes, cutting some more holes, cutting some U's, cutting this, cutting these little slots. And you can see over here, we add some more slots. Um, the reason why we do that is because if we did it all in one station, it would be very thin, it would make the tooling weak, so therefore we have to do it in different progressions. And it just goes down the line, cutting this, cutting that, until you basically have a part like that. Now this die actually, because it's so long, we have to split it up into two dies. And this flat strip die will then go into another die and go into a whole nother operation, different forming operations, so on and so forth. And it'll turn out like this, very precise connector. So from coil stock to this. See if you guys can see that well. Now, if you're interested in showing the whole setup from raw material to a finished part and setting up a die, I actually have another video and I can link that in the description. And these are the pilots. This is the hole that would make the first pilot hole here. And then these are pilots, 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 so on and so forth. And on the bottom, you can see this is where it cuts the material and then you have pilot holes. The pilots actually go into holes and that's how we locate the parts. These are punches. These will actually cut the material. You can, as you saw the U before, these are the U parts. This cuts that, those cut the windows and you can see the punches that actually cut through the material. And on the bottom, you have a die, which is a punch is basically like a male and a die would be like a female. You can see the die sections here, how it cuts the material into the female, into the female. And the die sections have, are very precise and they have specific clearances built into them for different material thicknesses and just different materials in general. And every, every material is gonna have a different clearance to cut it properly. Now here's another strip with some actual forming in it, unlike the other one. So you can just have a better understanding of what's happening. So again, here's punching the pilot hole and it's progressing. This is cutting a U, cutting another slot here, and it just goes 
and it cuts the material away here and then you kind of have a blank part. You can see some bending here, a little bending, now a little more bending. You can see some more bends there and it's starting to turn into a part. Now it's bending this around, you can see from here to there. And then it's bending it down a little further. Now it's putting this little, bending that leg up, bending that leg down. You can see the difference between this and that until you basically have a finished part. And this is a connector this is a, a fuse holder, and you can see that this just basically connects on. This is like a standard automotive fuse. I'm just showing you for so you guys can see that this is like a standard connector that just goes onto there. And it's a fuse holder, and this will go into the customer's fixture, and yeah. And that's kind of how you... They have a basic understanding of how you just take this raw strip and it turns into a finished part that um, actually makes something in the world. Now these are some of our punch presses in action, producing parts. anyone has any questions about metal stamping please post them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer every single one of your questions if anyone watching has any metal stamping needs please contact us we'll be more than happy to talk with you about your needs give you a tour of our facility and show you what we can do see you in the next video